Luke chapter 18 from verse 1 to 8. The theme of our reflection is, Pray continually and do not be discouraged. Prayer is a surge of the heart. It is a simple look turned towards heaven. It is a cry of recognition and of love. Prayer is a communication between us and God. A communication between the ordinary and the extraordinary. A communication between humanity and divinity. The Gospel of today, taken from the Gospel of Luke chapter 18, from verse 1 to 8, tells us about the importance of praying without losing heart. Today's aspect of prayer is on the need to persevere in prayer. Jesus told his disciples a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. He said, In a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor regarded man. And there was a widow in that city who kept coming to him and saying, Vindicate me against my adversary. For a while he refused, but afterwards he said to himself, Though I neither fear God nor regard man, yet because this widow bothers me, I will vindicate her, or she will wear me out by her continual coming. There are two characters in this parable told by Jesus. They are the judge and the widow. The judge was ungodly, both as a man and as a judge. Yet in the end, he answered the woman's request. The only reason he gave her what she wanted was because the woman wouldn't stop bothering him. Jesus did not give this parable to say that God was like the unjust, but unlike him. God loves to answer our prayers, and he even helps us when we pray. God is always on our side whenever we pray to him. Prayer is the source of energy for Christians. Jesus prayed always. Prayer occupied a very prominent place in his earthly life. When Jesus was baptized, he was praying. Luke chapter 3 verse 21. In Luke chapter 5 verse 16, the Bible recorded that he would often withdraw to solitary places and pray. He spent a lot of his time in prayer. We should always pray and ask God to grant our needs. St. James would say, You have not because you have not asked. James chapter 4 verse 2 We should ask and ask persistently like the widow in today's gospel. If that widow could get justice granted to her by the wicked judge, how much more shall we get blessings of mercy and grace from our loving Father? The parable told by Jesus is a parable of encouragement. Christians should never cease praying and pleading for redemptive justice. Such perseverance in prayer has to be inspired by faith in Christ Jesus. We need others to help us keep praying. In Exodus chapter 17, from verse 8 to 13, Moses became tired. Aaron and Hor helped him to keep his hand up in prayers. We need people that will support us whenever we are tired or down in prayer. We need to be attending prayer meetings, going to church, and listening to the word of God so that we can be encouraged to pray persistently. We should desire to pray and love prayer. We should pray in season and out of season. Peace be with you.